2938. The applicant, Michael T. McDonald III, property located at 135 Fairfax Road and zoned R5, excuse me, R4, seeks relief from Article 7R-4, Section 283.E of the Zoning Code to construct an addition to the rear of the property. Applicant further seeks any zoning or alternative relief required pursuant to the plans presented with the application. Mr. Council President. Good evening. I'm Harry Spies. Uh, representing Joyce and Michael McDonald, the owners of 135 Fairfax Road, Rosemont. This, um, <clears throat> these applicants uh, are seeking to uh, build a two-story addition on the rear of their home. And I'd first like to hand up, if I may, uh, the immediate next door neighbors Annie Pulaski of 133 Fairfax Road and Philip, that would be as you're facing the subject property, that pro the home to the right, uh, and the home to the left, owned by Philip Krugler at 137 Fairfax Road, Rosemont, they have a, a, submitted a statement saying that we are the neighbors of Michael and Joyce McDonald. We reside on either side of the McDonald household. We have discussed and reviewed their plans for this edition, and we have no objections. Thank you for your attention on this matter. So if I may hand that up. Was the neighbor to the rear approached? The neighbors to the rear are Villanova University, and there's a buffer zone of uh, 50 to 75 feet between the rear property line and a dormitory uh, owned by Villanova University. So they received notice uh, of the procedure tonight, but we have not heard from them. Is that correct? Uh, Mr. Spies, uh, before we get uh, started, get your mic. Uh, before we get started, we should uh, label uh, your exhibits. Okay. Okay. Uh, the application uh, uh, form filled out, I would make A1. The uh, going by the blue dividers, the uh, plan, uh, site plan, I'd make A2. And the photographs I would make uh, A3. And then we have a whole lot of, uh, here we, here, here's a dividing line, uh, sorry. The prior applications for the, the, the property, uh, I guess we'll make those A4. And uh, a5 will be the deed. John, I'm sorry. My package had a prior order of the zoning hearing board oh, prior right. to the uh, app permit application. Okay, then let me find where that is. Since it's all just historical things, why don't we just put all the historical things under the exhibit? Uh, I'm not seeing where mine is. Yeah, it's. Where's the? Uh, it's all together. Well, all the historic, the the uh, A four stuff yeah. is. That can all be A four. Yeah, it's, it's of I'm limited sure. relevance. 
I think it's in the permit app pet section. So yeah, why don't we call that all of A4? Okay. Do they have this? So what are we up to? Uh, we did the uh, A5 is the deed. And A6 is a description of work to be performed. And uh, I have nothing more in the packet, uh, but the uh, A7 then would become this letter from the neighbors. A7 would be the, the letter? The letter. The letter. Snowy day, and, and I didn't know that the building hearing board was going to meet in so soon. So I, I was a little rushed at four thirty. Okay. Now I'd like to hand up a, as a eight, a eight and a half by eleven no, site, no, no, by eleven by seventeen site yeah. plan, and photographs of the footers or headers of the existing uh, structure that for which the zoning board. Uh, gave relief a number of years ago. Okay. So this would be A8. That that was for the screened in porch. That's right. And and it was never built. No, it was built. It was built. Yeah, it was built. I didn't notice it on the pictures, but. Uh, Mr. McDonald, if you could speak into the mic, please. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it stood. It stood for roughly uh, a dozen uh, to fifteen years. It oh. was car. It was a corrugated. Uh, no, wait, 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 wait. We haven't uh, sworn you in yet. Oh, one sorry. more question. One more question about the exhibit, Harry. This is the same exhibit you've given us, just as a full copy, right? Yes. So why don't we just substitute instead of giving another definition? Let's make this the. Uh, yeah, it makes. Well, make this is there two. anything on on this that we? Uh, it's just larger, it's eleven by seventeen. Yeah, I mean, the other one was just an excerpt. It didn't include all the information. Yeah. That gets rid of A8 then and makes what A was A9, A8. A8. Well, it's just going to substitute one A2 for another. Yeah, we were, we were just going to slide this in. No, the, now, this, this one here, though, is the new the photograph, one. right? Okay. Yeah. So that'll be A8. Yeah. yeah. There aren't copies of the new photograph for all the members? Do you have the first for the second? So I think we have, I believe we have three of those. We'll take a look at it. There's nothing here. So let's get you sworn in so we don't have you talking. Some more. I do. And state your full name for My name is Michael T. McDonald the third. And I apologize, Michael. I jumped in and started asking you questions before you're sworn in, but I appreciate your responses and we can follow up on that. Now, <clears throat> by way of introduction, um, th these applicants desire to build this uh, two story addition to the rear of their property, it would replace and overlap and be larger than a uh, screened in porch patio that was uh, permitted uh, a number of years ago. In appeal number 1707, uh, April of 1984, the then owner, Bernard Keating, uh, applied to the Zoning Hearing Board of Radnor for permission to construct a screened-in porch, which would be located 25 feet, nine inches from the rear property line, instead of the required 30 feet. Uh, the, and the zoning hearing board unanimously allowed, granted a variance and granted, allowed permission for that construction. That existed for many years, uh, eventually deteriorated, but I think if you look at A9, you will see the footers that existed and were constructed back in 1984 to build this rear patio porch screened in. So what the applicants desire to do in this application 
is to uh, not invade the side yard setback or rear yard setback to any greater degree than already exists with the house and the back porch, but merely to extend that to allow construction of this 450 to it's 499 square feet building, two-store building. And uh, I would suggest uh, uh, to the board that this is con covered by the Hertzberg versus City of Pittsburgh case, where uh, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court, uh, Justice Castile, uh, held that proof to establish an unnecessary hardship is lesser when a, dim uh, when a dimensional variance, not a use variance, is sought. The Supreme Court said in that case, to justify grant of dimensional variance, courts may consider multiple factors, economic detriment to the applicant if variance denied, financial hardship created by any work necessary to bring the building into strict compliance with the zoning regulations and characteristics of, of surrounding neighborhood. To hold otherwise would prohibit rehabilitation of a neighborhood by precluding an applicant who wants to renovate a building. And I think uh, what the McDonald's desire to do is to renovate this building to make it useful and usable for their family to live in. But aren't uh, you going five feet closer to the rear line then? No, they're not going any closer to the rear line than presently exists with the footers that you see well, it's, in uh, let me A9. Just, your, your plan you just gave us shows the nearest point as 20.75 feet. Correct, you. And, and the plan you gave us from the prior application shows it going 35, point nine, uh, 35 feet 9 inches minus, minus the 10 of the width. You, you give a dimension of, of 35.9, and then you show a 10-foot width patio or, or structure. So it looks like there's an extra 5 feet of approach to the rear line versus what was approved before. No. Um, no? What, what happens is if you look at my lot, my lot runs, the, 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 the fence runs at an angle. And so I'm, I'm trying to, maybe we can, I don't know how you zoom. But this is a trapezoidal lot. Yeah, and, and so the, the, the point where the, the existing, um, the original shed construction was, was essentially to the left of the, in, in this rectangle right here. And I have transparencies and overlays if you want, if we can, uh, I can use them too. But essentially what the architect, the land site planner did for me was he, he went parallel to the fence. So this, this parallels and this line, this dotted line in the diagram is also parallel. And so at no point does the addition exceed 20 feet 7, 20.75 from the fence. But the closest point of approach, well, you haven't been sworn yet, have you? Yes, I have. Oh, okay, okay. The closest point of approach on your plan says 20.75. That's right. That's where the okay. exist, existing now your, shed went to. Your exhibit that you submitted with your application, right. exhibit A4, right. includes a plan showing the same lot, and it shows a construction of 19 by 10. Correct. And it only came to within five feet further away than, than we are looking to do now. According to the, your numbers here, this, this says that it was, again, the same, the same dimension, 35.75 from rear line to the corner of house before the addition. That's the same. Right. And then the nearest point of approach, this shows it's 10 feet closer. That's the, that's the patio. Right. Right. The patio yeah. so went. So that went 10 feet. This is going to go 15. No. Well, the, the patio. The patio went. I, I think I, I can clear this up a little okay. bit. Okay. On, on the appeal that we're looking at, right. if you look at the header of the appeal, right. It clearly says uh, to construct a screened-in porch, which will be located 25 feet nine inches from the rear property line, instead of the required 30 feet. That's the f source of confusion. Which matches here. the plan that Which was on the application. Which matches the drawing that was yeah. added to the application. Yeah. 
So the question is, it looks like from the current plan, you're going to be five feet, a little over five feet closer to the back property line. You're also, uh, uh, it looks like you're uh, falling short on the uh, side yards too. Well, the existing house on the right hand, the uh, south oh, yes, east I see corner I see already. It. You're not increasing the nonconformity on the side. No, it's non 13 it's feet there. And we're not going to make it any more than 13 feet. Wait a second. Where is it? This is all new. I see. Here's the corner of the house. Yes. That's 13 feet. Oh, and they're, they're making, see, they're not coming closer to 13 feet. Uh, that's the figure. All right. In the lower left hand corner of our site plan, it describes the building that we desire to secure permission for to build. And that's curious because uh, it only shows 10 feet there, so right. it should come out the same as the other one, but the two plans don't agree. I mean, I'm, of course, sitting here, we don't know which is the right measurement, but the two are inconsistent. Yeah, I agree with you, so Harry, that it says here that it's a 10-foot width at that right. point, 10-foot depth, and that should put it where the other one was, but according to the other plan, it doesn't. Well, I think what we we want is that what we show in the lower left hand corner up to 10 feet uh, and then going uh, east 20.5 feet and then an additional 17.5 feet and back. You know what the error might be? It may just be in that 20.75 number. Maybe right. that's supposed to be a 25.75 number. Yeah. Which we, I think that's just a... T we can't speak to that, but no. maybe it's a simple thing like a... The, an error. Yeah. This is the, um, the building. You would need to get sworn in. You want to be sworn in. Yeah. Yeah, my name Sir, is Zed. Sir, you have to raise your hand. Are you promising to truth the whole truth? Nothing but truth? Yes, I do. And state your full name, please. My name is Kenneth Steger. What Kenneth is? Steger. And spell Steger? S-T-A-I-G-E-R. Okay, and use a microphone. I'm sorry? Use a microphone, please. Let me see what we're... You're, the you're a, what, what the company are you with, are. Mr. Steger? Red Bar Group. And I'm sorry, I can't read. I'm sorry. Red Bar Group. Ooh, wow. Red Bar Group. And Red Bar Group is the builder of the, the of proposed this. builder of the new dwelling uh, addition. Is anyone going to be coming from RHC who did the plan? I thought Mr. Cavado was supposed to come. I think maybe because he could probably clear this up pretty quickly. Yeah. So I'll show you when you should be ready. I mean, that would make everything consistent. If you yeah. just that number, and it's a whole different case than if it's yeah. Which plan are we showing when it's 25 feet? feet? Right. So Where the original porch on only came out 10 feet. Right. I mean, so I think I think what the problem is is, is exactly what Mr. Nagel no. 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 said. Is that this, should, this should be 25 feet, 7 feet. I'm only I mean, that would make perfect sense, but, you know, we have to rely on the... was only to come out 10 yeah. feet because it wasn't to come out 15 feet. Well, I guess we can cut to the chase. If you're willing to agree that should we give you the approval you seek, that we will agree on the record that that number has changed to 25.75, and then we can deal with it as a case where you're just putting something new where there was something old approved. That's a different case than if you're asking us to give you an extra five feet. If you're willing to agree to that, if you're confident, then I guess that issue will be moot. Okay. So what, what you're saying is that if we don't go past the furthest point of the old addition. Oh, the old approved, yeah. Yeah, the old approved. If that back point is the same. If, if it's 20.75, then it's fine. If it's 25, what that, whatever that point is, is the correct point. Is that, is that what we're talking about? But it can't be closer than 25 feet yeah. 9 inches to the rear line. As yeah. long as you keep that as the closest point, 
then we have a different type of case to hear. And I don't think I'm out of line in saying it's probably no, no, not at all. What's to win? Because this the over the over this overlay shows that the the pad is is right there on the point. So, but in some in somewhere it's, it's saying 25, and here it's saying 20. So we need to conf conf uh, confirm what that actual point is. If that actual point is 20.75, that's where the that's where yeah, the, the pad is. That's not where the um, that's where the pad is. Isn't this geometry, though? I mean, isn't isn't the furthest point? This is on an angle. The, the furthest point is a packet of pad, and that line will continue itself parallel like that, so it'll stay okay. in, at, at that distance. Right. It'll never mean, go I, past that distance. Right. So this is the point that we're talking about right here. Right. And the only question is whether right. it should be 25 feet or 20 feet. Correct. And and my. Well, it is what it is. The point is where it is. Do you want to try to get your uh, side guy on the phone? And we'll give you five minutes. Yeah, that would be great. I didn't. Okay. I, I, All right, we'll uh, take a break for five not minutes. Not that we can take assessment for them, but at least he'll feel comfortable and agree. That's with the exactly stipulation. all I want. And That'll solve the problem that way. Yeah, yeah let's, uh, let's go back and talk through this guy. We actually have an administrative matter to deal with anyway, so. So we're going to recess for, we'll twice. give you 10 minutes. Uh, so we'll reconvene around 8.02. Yeah. 
That's right. If you're ready, we'll go. We, okay, we can establish contact with the Arctic. All right, let's, yep, let's uh, reconvene. Yeah, great. All right, we're back in session. Uh, Richard Covetta and Mr. Steger spoke with him, and he can explain what the outcome of that was. The measurements that are here, the 20.75, is in fact to the, the back point 
of that pad. Now, I saw what your, uh, the drawings were here uh, with the confusion on 25 feet as opposed to 20 feet. So um, this point is at 20.75. Uh, they may have, the last uh, applicant may have uh, overextended the pad. Um, I'm sure that it was uh, approved at that point in time. Um, so, uh, but that, that's, that is the point. That's what's in there right now. That was approved after it was built, and that's what we worked off of. So it is 20.75. That part is, con that is, conf that is conformed, or confirmed. That back point is. I, I think the township issued a building permit right. for the location that it exists today. Right. No, they issued it for the 10 feet. Uh, the patent on your papers. That, 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 that plan shows a 19 by 10. Oh. That plan that's attached to your exhibit is the plan that was used in the approval and in the application, and it's a 19 wide by 10 foot deep uh, structure that was approved. So obviously the prior owner exceeded his approval and his permit. And the township didn't catch it. The township didn't catch it. In terms of, in terms of the, 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 wherever that was measured from the back fence, whether it was measured properly from the back fence or not, I have no idea whether the, the prior owner measured the distance back from the encroachment, but that pad, as, I, as we've drawn it, is exactly what we say it is. It's where it's... it's yeah, and I, I don't think that... Okay, I, no I don't think that's in dispute. Yeah, yeah we have no that, basis to dispute that. We're, right. we're not out there, and we don't have tape measures, and we're not surveyors, but... But in, but in the way of clarification, the proposed addition mimics this other foundation, which you're showing on, on the, the bottom left as being essentially 10 foot 4 inches and then altering to, I mean, there, there's nothing about your plans where you're saying it's actually 15 feet here instead of 10 feet. Right, no, it, no, 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 no right, right. Yes, it's accurate. Yeah, it's accurate. Thank you. Um, How does that add up if it really is 10? It, it, it doesn't add up, which could which could mean the original plan. No, but even in this own plan, it doesn't add up because in this own plan, it holds that same distance between the corner of the house, the house proper, and the, and the rear. Well, See, I, if I you take ten, you add ten to that, or subtract ten from this number, and you get twenty five point seven five, not twenty point seven. So within this whole thing, it's inconsistent. We, I really wish we had the person here who prepared this. So. Consistent with a 15 foot prior addition. It is. That's the only way the it makes sense. It's not 15 feet. It wasn't 15. I, I uh -huh. can tell you it was not. We can't figure out why it's inconsistent sitting well, here. Uh, we measured the, the plan and we measured the footers. And if the, if the, if the, I don't have. So you have to use a mic because people are at home listening right. to this. They have nothing better to do. I don't know who listens to this. I have no way of, of knowing from the, the, the order where the point from the fence that the gentleman measured his 30, his 25 foot dimension and asked for relief. The, 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 the lot, the, the, I can tell you that the house, from the back of the house, because the fence is angled, from the back of the house directly out, if I walk straight out the back of my house and take 10 steps, that's where the footer ends. So whatever the dimension is from that point directly back is what it is. The, the site planner says it's 20.75 feet. Um, the problem is there's, the, they agree. The old plan and this plan do not disagree where the corner of the house is with regard to the rear line. They're consistent. It isn't like somebody made a mistake in the past and that's why this is reflected wrong. Your guy and the earlier person agree on exactly what the distance is from the corner of that house to the rear property line. Right. There's no disagreement there. And given that, if you subtract from that distance the 10 feet, and actually it wouldn't be 10 because there is a slight angle there, but you know, it's close enough to 10 for our purposes. You don't get this number, you get the number I was talking about before. Well, I, I think so. if we can get 
testimony that the 20 foot number is the correct number and the request for relief would be uh, a variance to go no closer than 20 feet, nine inches to the back. But who, who is here who knows that to a degree of certainty to testify on their oath? You don't well, have a surveyor? It, it, yeah. it, it, it would, the requ their request would be that we're not gonna get any closer than 20 feet yeah. to the back line. They are required under our rules and in the application to provide a plan prepared by a, a, an architect or surveyor which they've done, is, they've done that. Uh, and that, he's giving us case? information, and what, what do we have to, to act against this plan? We, don't, we can't talk to the fellow. We have nobody to supply the information. We have no way of resolving the conflict because none of us is gonna go out there. Well, well, I don't, see, I don't understand. We have, a, we have a, a plan in front of us, uh, and based on this plan, they're requesting a variance to get within 20 feet, nine inches of the back line. That's what they're asking us for. That's what they've given us. Why does it matter what was on a previous plan adopted how many years ago? <clears throat> the plan that they're asking us to approve yes. is itself internally inconsistent. Yeah, that's the problem. This very plan is inconsistent within itself. And it's their burden. Because on the lower it's left, there's a, it says 10 feet on no, the lower and left. And because up here it says 35.75. Oh, I see that. I understand. I understand. So that. that and that are inconsistent with that all on the same plan. If we didn't have the other plan, there's something wrong here. Okay. And we, sorry, we have no way of... Can, can you explain to me what's inconsistent about the, 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 the dimensions? Because if you take a distance of 35.75, which is what where the corner is according to the old plan and this new plan that was prepared for you. And you, you, and you subtract from that 10 feet. Now it's not exactly 10 because of the angle, but it's pretty darn close. You wind up with 25.75. Can I ask one, just one second please? Sure. Yeah, the, the inconsistency is what's on the bottom left there where it says 10 feet. Because if you add that to what's on top, then you're missing five feet. Yeah. yeah. Can I go on the record? I'm Joyce McDonald. It's up to your lawyer. He, he's running your case. Huh? proposal here. The, the previous plan said that the pad was 10 feet. The question here is what was the distance to the fence at that point in time? What the board at that point in time approved was a 10 foot addition for that pad. Can we agree that we go no, lo no further than 10 foot off of that pad on that parallel as an, as an approval? Because that's what was approved before. The pad was 10 feet. All right. We don't. It, it can't exceed the outside, as we're looking at it, left pad that was approved can go no further than 10 feet and run that parallel. And then we've satisfied what the previous variance was. So we can basically we agree? agree that the, dis, the the location of the house wall. Right. Is fixed. We all we Correct. we work off of that as an Correct. absolute datum. Correct. Uh, and then we agree that it's ten feet off of that on a ninety degree angle. Correct. And wherever that point is, it it's was and it is regardless of what the plan says. Right. Yep. That will solve all the problems. I don't have a problem with that from a technical standpoint. If there's a way to word it properly, given the fact that the plan is inconsistent. Well, I can, I can uh, yeah. word it that way. Yeah, uh, technically, I don't think that's a problem. Okay. Whether you'll have an addition that you want is uh, another thing. But then they well, they're saying they're only looking to have a 10-footer, yeah. except further down where it steps out. But we all measured this. I mean, I measured it. Uh, Rich uh, uh, Romano, who works with us, we all measured this. So we know the distance. We don't know what the work, the body of work was in 1984. So we're working on the pad and that point in that corner, and we know what that corner is, and we've all agreed that we're fine with that, with that parallel. I mean, the reason why the, sure. the applicant seeks, um, 
a variance. We started out this process discovering the porch. We didn't know, we knew there was a porch there, but we didn't know we needed a variance. Initially, we wanted to put a box on the end of the house, essentially that was 12 to 15 feet off of the end of the house, square box. It would have been the cheapest thing for us to do. When I discovered that there was a nonconformity, I, I looked at what's the, how to get and not change the nonconformity. So the effort I've made is to mold the plan so that it's consistent with the prior use. And I'm, flat, I'm, I'm not sure where the math is, whether it's an angle measurement or whether it's the prior person, but for purposes of what we seek, um, we, you know, we, we wouldn't be of any, any value to us to have an addition that wouldn't be at least 10 foot in width at that location because it wouldn't increase the value of the house. Quite frankly, my building lot, uh, Mr. Cutler, is, is only 6,000 square feet. Um, when the original site plan was done, and I can put this into evidence, the lot was measured gross at 6,075 square feet. Um, so I'm almost 1,000 feet under the R4 zoning. There's not much I can do. My back neighbors are Villanova University, the dormitories and the kids that come over and basically use that buffer zone as their own little area of entertainment. Um, and we can show you the, the things. I have two children, ages 12 and 9, both of whom have special needs, one of whom has, has an in utero stroke and, and, and focal epilepsy. Both of them may end up living with me for the foreseeable future in my property. So whether it's, um, I, I, I don't want to sound dramatic, but the reason why we're doing this is because we're, we're, we want to stay in Radnor Township and I want to make a property that's useful to them in the event that I need to, to be their guardian. So this isn't, this isn't sort of a aesthetic addition to the house. This is something that's going to be important for me and for my family for the remaining part of my, um, my life. So I, I'm, I'm, I want to comply with everything that the township seeks in terms of the inch. And, and um, when I saw that the guy did the box, the architect, it said to me that, number one, it was going to get too, it, it, it might encroach on my neighbor and it might be too close to the back fence. So I pulled it back, and I think this is the most creative and the best, and the highest use of the property, and I would ask that you approve that um, variance. Although we're gonna use maybe what you used before, what you got before, what was there before, I really wouldn't, wouldn't word it that way because in fact they use a number in the prior decision. I was just checking that, which complicates it even further. So I think maybe we include this in our reasoning and whether to approve this or not and how, but I wouldn't refer to the prior variance. I would just give them a variance if we're going to give them a variance and just put our numbers on it. Yeah, I mean, these makes sense. also there's no, uh, uh, unless somebody is going to testify in opposition from your group, uh, there'll be nobody opposed, so we can do it by order. I, I have a question for the solicitor, which is <clears throat> in connection with anticipating an opinion or decision, do you think that you've heard enough regarding hardship or do, should we ask any further elucidation on the question of hardship? On the question of hardship, uh, I think they have an undersized uh, lot. Uh, they uh, do not want to go anywhere f further than the original porch, which I take it doesn't exist above ground anymore except for <coughs> footings. Uh, and uh, the board lived with that. The board, uh, the neighbors are happy and Villanova is happy. And in addition, I think that there's a little bit of, uh, of uh, Americans with Disabilities Act, uh, which requires uh, a reasonable accommodation of an ordinance given that his children are disabled. Uh, so I feel that the record uh, would support uh, the grant of something. Uh, the only trouble is what is the something because we don't have, uh, I mean, we can, we can uh, uh, put numbers down and, uh, and uh, they may or may not be right, but uh, uh, the plan 
doesn't uh, d doesn't add up. You don't see us having a, a legal deficiency. No, no, no. To, okay. But, well, I, I'd like to take a, a shot at making the motion. If any more questions, um, exhibits no. may. You I mean, we can move discuss exhibits it. as part of the I record. Move the admission oh, of the I'd exhibit. like to state for one at the time, um, Mr. Um, I have to use the mic, sir. I'm sorry. Uh, my wife reminded me of this, and, and so this may be important to, the, to, to disambiguate the situation. At the time Mr. Keating went for the variance, Villanova's back fence was um, a cyclone fence. It was not the wooden fence that exists right now, the picket fence. And there is, so I have no way of knowing whether that picket fence was moved in any way or changed in pitch or, or dimension when they, when they put in the buffer zone. When I taught, when you look at the, 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 the notes of the testimony from Mr. Keating in the old one, what, what he was talking about was looking at his porch. The reason why he wanted a porch was that he was looking directly at the dormitories across a, a cyclone fence. There was no buffer, there was no nothing. Um, that cyclone fence doesn't exist anymore. The dormitories have, when I went to school there, and I went to school in 85, the dormitories weren't even there. So I have no way of knowing whether that fence was ever measured or... No one should have measured to the fence anyway. They measured to the property line. Both plans show a property line. The place, the fence is only an issue of encroachment. It has nothing to do with uh, where the line is and what the zoning is. Let's get back to... Yeah, but what, what, hold on, hold on. Let's get back to Mr. Cutler's attempt at a uh, motion. Uh, well, let's... I move the hold on, hold on. Exhibits, uh, A1 through A9? Yes, you did. Yeah. Well, first off, is there anyone else here that would like to talk to the board about this matter. Okay, great. Now, would anyone like to make a motion? I will attempt it, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> this motion is made with reference to Plan A2 as substituted today by the applicant. I move that the applicant be permitted to construct the addition to the home as shown in the small plan at the lower left corner of this uh, plat, having those dimensions of 10 feet 4 inches uh, in depth from the from the. Uh, it's not 10, it's 10 feet. Uh, four feet. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, 10, 10 feet from the uh, rear of the house at a perpendicular to the rear wall of the house, and having the shape and dimensions shown on that inset plan, and that it be attached to the house as shown on the larger plan, without reference to the measurements contained on the larger plan in the northwestern corner of the house vis-a-vis uh, -vis the sideline and, and, and rear line of the property. And that they be permitted to uh, violate the rear yard requirement uh, otherwise applicable to the extent necessary to construct the addition I so show. I'll second. Great. Is there any discussion on this matter? Any questions? No. So we'll get a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Against? Abstentions? Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that? I will meet you there tomorrow with a tape measure. <laughs> <laughs> no, no one will meet you there tomorrow with a tape measure. My, my curiosity has just gotten better. With that, we're adjourned for the evening. We'll see you uh, on April. April 16th. You just don't throw up for a